Hey guys, my name's Alicia, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm in a different room uh, with quarantine. My daughter often likes to watch TV in my room, so it is a, not a fight I'm gonna fight to have her go to the living room. So I don't know, I will play this video back and see how the lighting looks. It's always hard for me to tell how it really looks when I'm filming, um, but if it looks okay, I guess you're gonna be seeing it. Um, so this is our guest bedroom and the pictures on the wall, um, the two big pictures are my mom's parents. But anyway, uh, if you didn't know, both my parents um, passed away um, already, and so this room is kind of an homage to them. They both collected antiques. Um, you can see the rug beater and such, so um, clearly I couldn't have everything from their house when they passed. Um, they passed separately, by the way, that makes it sound like they passed together. Um, so anyway, this is sort of like an homage to them. But anyway, this video is about Dollar Shave, which I've been using, my husband and I have been using, I think for probably close to five years, definitely way, way more than three. But the other day I was impulse shopping, April, the name of the game was impulse shopping. And so I just happened to be down the aisle at Target and saw that Vera Bradley and Gillette Venus had kind of gotten together and they are making like a razor that you just buy refills for. I don't even know why I picked this up because it's ridiculously expensive compared to my Dollar Shave. So if I love this, I'm in trouble. So um, you get one head and two blades for $12.99. So that part's not so bad, but the refills, at least at Target, were like crazy. I don't know, I forget what I said in my Target haul, but it was like four blades for, I don't know, $20 and then like six blades for like $26, but it was something crazy. So. Let's do the Dollar Shave first. Both my husband and I um, have, again, have been using them for quite some time. You, when you sign up, you get a, um, a handle and then you get your blades and they come in a four pack. And they have three different levels. And Kevin and I can use, we get um, a four pack every other month. So we can, we both just change our blades every two months. Every now and then we need to get it every month, but then after like two months of getting it every month, we need a break. So these blades last us quite a bit of time. In the beginning, they would last me almost like a whole month. But anyway, um, so Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, good grief, Dollar Shave has three different levels. They have a Humble Twin for $4.00 and it ships free every month and we my husband and i used to do the middle one which is called the 4x and that's seven dollars a month we did that for um i would say a well over two years but before it started giving us trouble um and so then we upgraded to what's called the executive and we must be grandfathered in on the old price we paid nine dollars so uh, again, when you get your starter kit, you get a handle and then the blades. And so every time we get a pack of four blades, it's only $9, which is why I say the Vera Bradley is just crazy expensive. I will say that in the last couple months, I have been cutting myself cr really horribly when I shave my legs. And clearly I've been shaving my legs the same way for like, I don't know, 40, I don't know, let's see, I'm 41, almost 41 anyway. So what, like 20 years or something? Well, well, well anyway, I can't do math. I should just start this whole video <laughs> over. Anyway, I've been shaving for a long time. So I don't think it's me. I don't think I've changed the way I'm shaving. So I don't know what it is with the razors, but that's kind of why I'm like considering Billy. And I don't, I'm just, I, at this moment, I feel like I have too many subscriptions. So I was intrigued when I um, found this and I keep getting in the shower. Then I keep forgetting that I haven't filmed this because I'm ready to shave my legs. So let's see. So this is a really pretty handle. I think that's kind of probably what drew me over the edge. I really love purple. I love um, pink. So this, um, if we're just comparing the weight, the dollar shave um, handle is way heavier, which could be a plus or a minus. Um, but they both feel like metal and they both feel nice. Uh, but again, this one's a little bit heavy, so it makes it maybe feel heavy duty. I will say too that my husband and I each almost have to get a new handle like once a year because they do break. 
Um, so just be prepared for that. So at this point, this is our extra handle. Uh, so we just kind of keep extra handle on hand because again, they, I would say about once a year, we need to replace it. Um, but they both really, I think, you know, feel kind of equivalently heavy duty. Um, the dollar shave is a little heavier. And so the Venus comes with, again, two cartridges. And it looks like they work in much the same way in that as how they hook. I will say that the Venus has a single hook entry and then the Dollar Shave has a dual one. So I don't know whether that again makes the Dollar, dollar Shave um, more substantial. So all you would do is insert it and then it's on. So that is what that looks like. So I do believe the Vera Bradley Genus one, or um, Venus ones have moisture glide. So I don't, I can take that or leave that. I use shaving cream anyway, but these do have a, a gel on it, whereas these do not. So let me pick out one of these blades. Oh, actually, I guess they do too, maybe. See, I, I don't even focus. So that is, this is what the Dollar Shave looks like. So I am excited to try this. Before we did Dollar Shave, um, I just picked up like the $5 pack of razors at the, the, the Walmart. Um, it didn't, I wasn't buying any such, you know, deluxe razors. And so I that for me, the Dollar Shave or it was a total upgrade. Um, I have since, you know, every now and then kind of gotten a pack of razors from Walmart or Target and I don't like them as well. But I have not tried um, a luxury kind of brand, or not, I shouldn't say luxury, but a higher end brand. So I am interested to see how this is and I will let you know um, after I shave a couple of times. Um, but I almost hope I don't like this because I'm, I, I'm not going to buy the refill packs at 20 bucks and 26 bucks. Um, that's just too expensive, but I am kind of interested in the Billy, but this is very pretty. So anyway, um, I will be back. Clearly, I'm, um, it'll probably be a day or two before you see me, but I'll be back to tell you what I think of this guy. Hello, my name's Alicia. Welcome to my channel. Today I have the Billy Razor. Um, earlier I tried out, well, I've been using Dollar Shave for several years, and then I just got this Venus um, Vera Bradley razor that is similar at Target, and so I did a review on that. I'll link that below. But because the Vera Bradley was really nice, I enjoyed it probably more than my Dollar Shave, but it's crazy expensive. Like, it was like $19.99 for five um, um, refills kind of a thing. It was really expensive. And so I've been hearing a lot about th this um, Billy razor. And so I thought I would try it out. It was $9 and change. Um, we pay tax here in California for the starter kit. And you could choose the color of your razor. I think at the time they only had two choices. And then they kind of give you like, I think it's a one question, maybe a two question quiz on how much you shave and then that kind of guides them. I think I will get a refill pack every two months. And so their packaging is very nice. I like that a lot. Um, we, my husband and I have used Dollar Shave for, I don't know, four or five years and we really like them. They are more geared towards men. I find their shaves okay. Here lately I've been cutting myself a lot. So I wanted to kind of branch out and see. So in your kit, you get your razor. If I can get it out of the box. So this is the razor. And um, purple is my favorite color. And then it's got hot pink on this side. So I really like the razor head. This looks very similar to the Venus Vera Bradley. So I'm thinking that I'm going to really like this. It's a lightweight handle. I don't have my Dollar Shave or my Vera Bradley with me right now, but this feels a little lighter, but that doesn't necessarily make it better or worse. 
So in your starter kit, you get um, one refill blade and the one that comes on your razor. You also get a holder that goes in the shower. I already have holders in my shower, but right now they're holding my other razors. So this will be nice that it has a dedicated place. So it looks like this. And it comes with um, some sticky stuff for, to put it on. I will say I think it's funny that they don't match. I don't know whether that's, you know, it doesn't really matter because um, you won't ever really see it but it's a different color than your razor. So it comes with a shower holder. Now, Billy has accessories or little extras you could buy. Like they had a dry shampoo I was interested in, but I didn't purchase because it was like $14. Um, and they had a razor traveling cover for $5. And if I like this razor, I will get the um, travel cover because one of the reviews I watched on this says that the gel around here kind of gets messy and that they pref would have preferred a um a case because all that stuff would get on so i wanted to experience for, for myself make sure i like it before i spend the five dollars on the razor cover so anyway you will probably see me back in a couple weeks after i give this a try um i will let you know what i think of it thank you so much for watching all right, hi, I am back to kind of go over the results of the three razors. So originally when I started this, I was just going to do it on the Venus Vera Bradley and the Dollar Shave. But I liked the Venus one so well, but it's so expensive. And I've been watching some YouTube videos on the Billy, so I thought, let's just order the Billy and see you know, how it goes. So at the end of the day, I really can say that all three would be a decent shave and you wouldn't be necessarily wasting your money. They all have some pros and cons. So I am definitely, I've been using Dollar Shave, my husband and I, for probably maybe even five years. And this is a really old blade, so don't, it should have been changed out. But I am not gonna be using this one anymore, but it's not a bad blade. Like if you are just using the cheap uh, drugstore razors, like the $5 pack, this would be a true upgrade. Um, it's $9 a month and you get four blades. Um, Kev, my husband and I do it like every other month and even like we, you get to skip it. Like I, I think both, like two months in a row now, we are, anyway, we often have to like push it off and it's very easy to reschedule. So this is very cheap. My husband loves it. He will keep using it. Um, but I have found that I am liking these better. So I don't feel like there's anything wrong with Dollar Shave, especially if you are upgrading from a cheap, uh, like, you know, Walmart, um, razor or target, whatever, this would be really nice. I've just been having issues with cutting myself lately. Um, but my husband still really likes it. So, um, uh, at a random, uh, shop, shop purchase in April, I got the Vera Bradley Venus. This has a very weighty handle. Both of these have heavy handles, which I don't, I like, I don't mind. The Billy has a very light handle. Um, this was $12.99 for the handle and then two blades. The refills are super expensive. It's like four for $19.99 and then five for like $26. Um, it could be like five for $19.99 and then six for $26. But either way, the refills on this are crazy expensive. So I love this. This shaves fantastic. Um, on this one, I can kind of feel the blades and this is just like a cloud. Now, I could say that, you know, maybe I'm not getting as close as a, of a shave because I can't feel the blades. It just feels like I'm shaving with a cloud. And there is, um, I think, some kind of like, um, I don't even know what you'd call it, like a lotion, that purple stuff, I believe, is some kind of gel. Now, theoretically, this has some too, but I never really even noticed that that does anything. But this is the smooth... Um, as far as how it feels when you're shaving, just the smoothest ever. 
So I will totally enjoy shaving with this for this blade and the other blade, but I just cannot spend that much money. Unless each one of these lasted like two months or something, I can't justify, and even then, I cannot justify the refill prices on the Vera Bradley. But if you have the money and you don't mind using it on this, um, it's a beautiful razor, it's a very nice weight, best shave, really, really nice. Again, I'm not a person that shaves um, like every day, so I don't really know whether you're not getting as close of a shave um, because it's maybe not getting as close. But it could just be kind of a, a thing where I feel like because I feel the razors, it's getting closer. So I am gonna keep on with the Billy. This is $9. Um, and I think when you do the $9, it gives you um, four refills. And I think right now I have it every other month, but I'll probably be able to extend out. So this is similar to the Vera Bradley. I would say this is in the middle. Um, like if we were gonna order them, I would probably say for women, best, uh, middle, and then this one. But I would say that this one is my winner because it has price and comfort. It is still kind of like shaving with a cloud, but it's in between. It's, you don't feel the blades as much as this one, but it's definitely not as cloudish feeling as this. But for the price, this is right. Now, I did watch another review where they said the kind of, whatever you call the comfort coating on the outside, that they didn't like to travel with it because it feels gunky. I was gonna say I didn't feel that way until I just noticed here. If you can kind of see the gunky stuff here. Um, so again, I'm not sure how much that's coming out or not, but there is some gunky stuff there. Um, but it doesn't feel super sticky. So I like this one, the price is right. And again, it's kind of in between. It's not as maybe good a quality as the Vera Bradley, but it feels really comfortable and I like it. And so this is what I'm gonna go with. But I really don't think either one of these is bad. But if you are used to a high quality feminine razor, I don't think the dollar store or the dollar shave is for you. But again, I we've really enjoyed it for many years. I'm just looking for something more comfortable. Either of these are a great option. Again, very broadly, very expensive. But the Billy Shaver, I really like. I think it is a great female razor on a budget. So definitely, I'm gonna keep up with this. And again, like I said, pros and cons for any of these, but I like them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching.